Oh, hey everyone. In this uh, episode or video, I want to talk about a type of fiction that I feel isn't really, um, I guess, um, done too often in films and television and even books, and that's alternate history fiction. Now, for those of you who um, don't know what alternate history fiction is, Alternate history fiction is basically, uh, it, it basically it's like a, a type of a story or, or show that, you know, portrays the world, you know, as it, as it, as it is, like if, um, history had happened differently, like, for example, uh, the Confederacy won the Civil War, or Hitler and the Nazis won World War Two, or, uh, the Roman Empire never fell, or, you know, Napoleon and Bonaparte. Uh, you know, never conquered like Europe or the Black Death never happened or something like that. Um, yeah, it's basically, um, you know, basically uh, stories and novels like that that, you know, portray a different world that's like somewhat similar, but at the same time it's also very different in many ways, you know. And I think that's not very really, really done enough in, you know, fiction and media nowadays. I don't really know why. It doesn't really seem any real reason because it's a very interesting subject in my opinion. And, you know, there's a, there's a couple, like, uh, Code Geass, and, um, the Man in the High Castle, and there's also a, a story by Nathaniel Hawthorne called Peace Correspondence, and it was, uh, written back in the 19th century. Yeah, but there aren't that many, uh, alternate history novels written today, or fiction of that kind, and I plan on, you know, uh, writing a lot of fiction in that genre, I mean, I guess the only, like, modern-day alternate history type writer is, um, Harry Turtledove. That's a strange name, but that's his name, and, um, he, uh, he, almost all of his novels tend to be sci-fi or alternate history, and he's a big inspiration for me, so, yeah. I wanted to say that, and, uh, I guess that's it. Thanks for listening.